I'm Gian Madrini, and we're backstage at Michael Kors. Let's talk to the designer and find out about his latest collection. Well, I understand we are in for an incredibly wonderful show this season. I, I just looked around, there, there's like 76 pieces in this collection. And 72. 72. 72. 72. Looking at some of the coats, especially, you've got your iconic coats that you've done, the pea coats, you've got all these other new styles in the coats. Tell us a little bit about you know, what you feel is essential in the coat department for fall. Well, I think the cool thing to me is kind of with a great coat, you know, you could be wearing like the barest little dress, you pop on a great coat, and it can kind of take you anywhere. Uh, and especially in a city anywhere in the world, your coat is kind of your calling card. Um, so there are a lot of amazing coats in this show. I like taking all the classics and tweaking them. So like your pea coat, why not tie dye it? And so it's striped, it's bold. Uh, this great navy and white tie dyed coat in the show. We're also playing with coats that have a little bit of a 20s edge to them that you are combining fabrics, might be navy and black combined um, with a little fur trim on it. There are some fabulous sweater coats in the show also that are knee length that I love over anything from jeans to a dress. Um, and then the other coat that's really cool to me, if you've got the height for it, definitely this season think about a really long coat because I kind of love the whole extreme in silhouette. You know, there's something fun about putting on a coat that you know, in the old days was a maxi coat. Um, but now these long coats, they're very sexy. They're narrow, they have a high armhole. And I think you know, with a pair of boots and a pair of jeans or over a long skirt, I think it's a cool new way to look. And some very yummy fabrics like the velvets and the cashmere, lots and lots of cashmere. I'm always, to me, it's kind of like, there's, there's two parts of getting dressed. There's the visual, but there's always the tactile. You know, and so this season, there, there's a lot of velvet in the show. Cashmere also treated a little differently this time. We've done a lot of mesh in cashmere, so your sweaters feel delicious, but they're very sexy and lightweight. Some cashmere crochet that I love. And then lots and lots of chiffon and jersey, but maybe kind of counterbalance that you might see a classic menswear pattern, but done in chiffon. So it's kind of romantic and tailored at the same time. And some little pleated lace skirts, really sexy for day or evening. Are you mixing them for day and evening? Yeah, I, I, see, I think the cool thing you know, this show to me was all about when I was a kid watching movies like The Great Gatsby or Love Story. And you think about Love Story, which was very tailored, very collegiate. Then you think about the romance in The Great Gatsby. And the cool thing today is that someone would mix it all up. So, you know, you're going to take your fabulous toggle coat, but you're going to wear it over a lace skirt. Um, and that's really the fun part of sportswear. You get to mix it your way, wear it your way. And I like the idea that, you know, women can add their individual spin to it. The other thing I've noticed is there's all these wonderful glasses which you introduced last season. Now you've got a, a new sunglass and of course the accessories are so key in your collection. Uh, well, you know, the funny thing is when we, when we think about it, you know, I mean, I wear jeans like almost every day and we live a casual life. So if, if you have on a fabulous coat, great pair of jeans, it's all the extras that kind of set you apart from the crowd. So amazing shoes this season, they're tailored but sexy. Um, there's kind of a punky, preppy marriage going on in a lot of the shoes and the bags. And the glasses, it's playing with sort of all those iconic 70s moments. Gloria Steinem and her big aviators. I love the idea of even clear frames, clear um, lenses on glasses. I think give it a whole different spin. It's, uh, it's kind of intellectual glamour, really, I guess is what you would think it would be. And what do you have in store for men? What are we going to see this season on the catwalk for men? Well, first off, I mean, tailoring is becoming more and more important um, and we're finding there's a whole generation of guys who never wore a suit before and these guys are trim and they're in shape and they want to put on a suit that feels sexy so you're looking at suits that have a higher armhole narrower lapel a little shorter in the body um, trousers for boys are definitely narrower so it's kind of like you know don't grab that extra roll on your way to the buffet table and and there's there's a little Robert Evans you know, when he was married to Ally McGraw, there's a little Steve McQueen going on here. It's again that, that blend of the 70s and the 20s. Um, and you'll see a lot of velvet for men also. I think velvet's going to be real important. But we're using a lot of the velvets that we're using for boys are actually blended with metal. It doesn't sound so comfortable, um, but uh, you can't feel it. And the, the cool thing is it has a lived-in look. So for a guy to throw on a jacket with a pair of jeans, he doesn't feel precious and uptight. Um, but we're seeing wider ties. I love a button-down collar shirt, but in an unexpected pattern. So again, it's, it's the same thing that we see with the women. It's taking something classic and twisting it. 
we got to have one of those bags, one of those weekend bags. That's it for sure. I mean, you know, it, the funny thing is, I, I am always addicted to pictures of celebrities getting off the plane. I mean, like, at what time did they get ready to pull the, together this fabulous look? I don't know, but they always look great. And to me, it's always about this amazing travel bag. So our customers collect them. You know, they, they're always looking for the new one. Um, this season, we're playing with tassels on them, um, fabulous flaps, a little bit of metal hardware. And they're the kind of bags that just get better with age. You know, that's, that's the best stuff. Thank you, Michael. My Thank pleasure. You. Yeah, Thank pleasure you. Good to see you.